want to know? What's going on, people? Mike C. Town here. Third episode of What Do You Want to Know, where you ask your questions. If I like your questions, I answer your questions on camera. So, this is kind of a part two to the last video that I did, uh, where Joe the Fixer asks, Have you ever had a near death experience? Now, this isn't one of the situations where you have to watch the last video in order to understand this one. It's just another near death experience story. However, if you didn't watch the last video, make sure you go check that one out. I'll try to remember to put a link in the uh, description section down there. Click it, check it out. I, it's a pretty disturbing story from what I'm told. So, in this particular story, this took place about five years ago. I went down to Tampa, Florida uh, with a girl I was seeing at the time, uh, this white chick with the racist parents. And uh, we were there either for her dad's birthday or for Father's Day. And one of the things that he really wanted to do is he wanted to go canoeing down some river. Apparently that's some fun thing that people in Florida do. Uh, they're all excited. Yeah, this sounds like a great time. And I'm fucking terrified. Okay, I, I can't really swim. I can kind of sort of swim now after taking some lessons, but I'm still not totally comfortable with the water. But back then, I was way worse. So the whole time, I'm shitting my pants. But I wanted to be the nice, accommodating boyfriend, so I agree to go. And in our canoe, it's just me and my girlfriend. She's in the front, I'm in the back. I've never done this, so I have no idea how this works. So I'm kind of working it out on the spot. I've seen it in movies, and I know they do this shit, but it's not really working out so great, but whatever we're, we're making it happen all right so we're out in the sun going down this river and for a while everything's cool man the water is beautiful it's like totally clear you can see fish swimming right by there's trout jumping over the boat we're high-fiving them yeah this is fucking awesome and even though I'm, I'm i'm scared shitless i was actually enjoying myself for a little bit then it started to get extra hot, which was really annoying because I hate being out in the sun. And then these big ass horse flies start attacking us out of nowhere. Now listen, I like hiking and running, but I don't do swamp nature, okay? So I don't fuck with mosquitoes and I sure as hell don't fuck with these big pterodactyl ass fucking horse flies, man. And for those of you that don't know what a horse fly bite feels like, picture 10 bees stinging you at the same time. Yeah, it fucking hurts like a some bitch. All right, so I'm slapping my arm and cursing. Oh, fuck. You know, to get rid of these fucking things. And I'm getting so pissed as we go along. I actually found this picture of me as we're floating down the river, if this tells you anything. How did I get that picture, you might ask? Well, that's where the problem starts. So my girlfriend had brought her cell phone because she wanted to take pictures, and she's not helping me with the boat. So the way this works is the person in the back is supposed to kind of propel the boat forward, and the person in the front is really in charge of the steering. And the issue is instead of helping me steer, she's too busy taking pictures of fucking trees and, and fucking dirt. So I'd said numerous times, you know, can you please put your phone down and help me steer this motherfucking boat? And she'd put it down, and then a minute or two would go by, and she'd see a cool bush or a bubble in the fucking water, and want to take another picture, and then the boat would steer away from where it's supposed to go. And that's where the first big problem hits. We're heading around some curve, and she's trying to take pictures again, and not helping me with the boat, and bam, we ram right into a tree that's on the embankment, and the tree shakes, and a bunch of dirt falls into my lap from one of the branches of the tree. And oh, I'm like, God damn it, fucking dirt. I'm wiping my, my lap out. And uh, we get back to rowing. And we're going. And I glance down. And what I thought was dirt starts scattering like crazy. And I realize it's not fucking dirt, man. These are actually tiny baby spiders and they're crawling all over me i'm assuming you must have hit some kind of nest or something i don't fucking know because like i said i ain't fucking okie finoki joe i don't do this swamp wise bullshit all right so now as a guy of course the first thing i'm thinking is these motherfuckers are gonna crawl up my shorts and go right into my dick hole and yes we are right back to the dick hole so we had to pull the boat over, I had to jump off into the water and wash all of these fucking spiders off of me. So yeah, at that point I'm pissed off. I'm like, okay, so now that you've 
managed to spill a gang of baby spiders into my lap. Can you please put your fucking phone away and help me with this boat? So she puts it away and again, a few minutes later, she takes it out again and starts taking pictures of bullshit. And the problem arises when we start heading towards another embankment with another tree and this time with this really, really low hanging branch. And I'm like, oh my God, fuck. I'm like, help, help. She's like, hold on, hold on, there's a, a pigeon that we don't see in Atlanta. I'm like, yo, we're about to run into this fucking tree. Hold on, there's this really pretty moth that we don't see in Atlanta. I'm like, this is fucking, we're about to die, goddammit. She doesn't see the branch until it's way too late, so we drift right into it. And instead of ducking, we both end up leaning to the left really hard and really fast, and the boat flips. Now remember... I can't swim and I'm terrified of the water. So this is my biggest fear. So I don't just fall calmly and nonchalantly and gracefully into the water. The way we both leaned was with such force that I was flung into the water straight down fast. So I went down quite a ways, enough to where I looked up and I could see the light way the fuck up there and the bottom of the boat, right? And, and as I'm going down, I'm thinking, well, Guys, this is it. Story's over. I'm fucking dead. And when they tell you that your whole life flashes before your eyes, this is true. I start thinking about all the shit that I haven't done. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I've never done cocaine. I've, I've never had sex in a church. Uh, close, but not, not, not all the way in. I've never had a hooker. I've never done all of these really cool things that I want to do before I die. And as I'm looking up, it felt like that part in Get Out where Chris is falling into the sunken place, right? And he's, he's, he's looking up thinking, what the fuck is happening to me? As he sees his life with the evil white chick fading away from his grasp. Then the life jacket kicks in and it carries me back up to the top. And I get to the top, you know, I, I, I we flip the boat back over and I climbed back in and uh, you know what was rad um yeah no one jumped in to help me here uh her parents were probably thinking good good die just die I was actually uh later told that it was my fault that we flipped the boat because apparently I was the only one who panicked um I was also told to stop being pissed off because I'm ruining her dad's day because I almost died and shit you know so I was in a bit of a mood had a little bit of a tood and, uh, you know, just shrug it off. It's no big deal. Everyone dies every now and again. It's not, not that serious. You know, so I was forced to finish this trip soaking wet, pissed off, heart still beating because I just fucking chest bumped with Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Pardon me for being a little fucking annoyed, right? So, yeah, we finished the trip out. Nothing else that we really need to talk about here. Came back home, went back to our shitty lives. No, you guys know how that goes. And, uh, yeah, that's the end of this particular story. Um, all you guys need to know is if a bunch of racist white people ask you to get into a boat and float down some water, bro, don't do it. Don't fucking do it. So, yes, yeah, so that's the only other story that I can think of. If uh, another one comes to mind, I'll do another video, uh, maybe down the line. And uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this one. And as usual, thank you for living, thank you for loving, thank you for being you. Please don't die like I almost did. And I'll see you guys next time. All right? Peace! Bitches!